Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are gonna film another speed review. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. As you can see, I have pink hair now. This is my first video filming with pink hair. And I really like it. It's pretty light, not very, uh, very intense or something like that but you can see that <laughs> it is pink and i did really miss having colorful hair i love it i'm very very happy and the girl that did my hair she did an amazing balayage i really like it it looks very very good i'm very impressed so let's start with the products i have a bunch of nyx products some brushes and a lot of eye stuff i will Talk about the products that I have on my eyes today and about that I didn't film this look but I will list down below everything that I have on my face. Let's start with the NYX products actually the first one is the this is juice gloss and I have the shade pomegranate cloud and as you can see it's the red one this is just a bit tinted so I will swatch it looks something like this as you can see it's just a bit tinted this is my third gloss lip oil products from NYX. I think this one is the best one. I did test the hashtag this is everything lip oil or something like that. Don't like that one. I think that one was the worst one from these three. And then I have another one that's new and I bought the NYX butter gloss and I bought the, um, the clear one. This is okay but I prefer this one. This one is a bit of a more thicker uh, formula so it stays on the lips better it is tinted but they have an uh, untinted one as well i like this one better this is a bit too lightweight for my taste but i still consider this a good lip gloss but i just prefer this one because i can feel it on my lips and it stays on the lips longer but this one i think it's great if you want just to apply a gloss on top of a lipstick I think they are both better than the hashtag this is everything uh, lip oil that one is so lightweight it disappears in 10 minutes so these both are better but i prefer this one next product is the nyx thick it stick it and i have the shade cool ash brown and this is a brow mascara i do like this one better than the brow glue from nyx because this is tinted and they are a bit different i feel like that one has a more goopy consistency and it gives your hair some body but this one adds some fibers or something like that to your to your hairs so i do prefer this one but it doesn't keep my hairs up i did post a random get ready with me and if you saw in that video i applied this one and after like three four five minutes i don't know my hairs were already uh, down so so i am agreeing with the part with thick it because it is a good thickening mascara but it's not <laughs> sticking <laughs> the hairs up so i don't think it's a good um, a good brow mascara for keeping your hairs up but for thickening your uh, hairs it is great so depending on uh, your preference you may like this one and the last product from nyx is this ultimate eye paint and i have the yellow one it's called sun gaze so I'm wearing this one today as a liner. Today I wanted to try again to do a wing with it because the first time was horrible. So I really wanted to be sure that you can do liners with it. And you kinda can, but I don't know if you can see. But the line is a bit patchy, at least compared to this one. And it was not that easy to create this line with this one so you can use it i'm not the best at graphic stuff so it could be user error as well as an eyeshadow i do like this product but as liner is not the best it could be that this one it's a yellow and for sure it would be harder to formulate a yellow than a green and a dark green especially but in my eyes this could have been better so 
I am happy that I did buy it. I do enjoy it, like I said, as an eyeshadow and I can kind of create liners with it. So I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10. And yeah, so not my favorite, but it's a decent product. Okay, and speaking of paints, let's talk about the About Face one. And I have the shade Smoke Signal, this dark um, green very beautiful color. I do really like this paint. Of course, the price of this one is like twice and some of this one. So a lot more expensive, but you have more color options. You get only pastels for this one. And this is not limited edition or something like that. So I do like the about face a lot more. You can do wings with it pretty easy. Of course, I did test only this color. So I don't know if lighter colors are the same but this one is amazing i do really like it i like it with other shadows i like it by itself as an eyeshadow very pigmented very easy to blend out very buildable i am impressed with this one i didn't test it as a base but i think it will work like that it's pretty dark so <laughs> maybe i could do a green smoky eye with it or something like that didn't test that out yet but like i said as liner, very easy to create a wing. It's a lot more pigmented than the NYX one and a lot more smooth, very easy to create a wing with it. And as a shadow, like I said, you can intensify looks with this one or just um, use it on the outer corner. Very good product, I do really like it. The next product is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have the shade Vanilla. This shade is really good, this is a mini by the way. This shade is very good for my under eyes. I do really like it. And I like the concealer as well. It's very interesting. This concealer, I feel like the formula, it's a bit, the type of formula, it's a bit more older because this concealer is not that uh, lightweight formula like the NYX, the new NYX one that I bought, that one with the pump. Uh, that one is very lightweight and very, I don't know, Lightweight. The correct word is lightweight. This is a bit more thicker and it's a very interesting di distinction between them. But this concealer is very good. It wears great. It has a lot of pigment. You can build it to a full coverage. I never do because I like uh, medium coverage, but it's very, very good. I do recommend it and it's a wonderful concealer. Next one is a mascara and they have the Lancome Lash I doll and I have the black one. This is really nice. I'm really impressed. I just bought it randomly, but it's a really good mascara. I do really like it. This is how the brush is looking. Yeah, so this mascara is really good. I do really like it, but it's not better than my Rare Beauty one, but really good mascara. Next, I finally bought the Zara lip oil this is the nourishing jelly uh, lip oil and i have the shade Deca oh god decadent decadent decay oh i have no idea how to pronounce that uh, this is the name in here if you can see it decadent oh my god anyway it's <laughs> it's the pinky pinky color uh, this is very, very sheer, so I think all of them are pretty pretty much the same. Really good lip oil. I don't like the packaging because, as you can see, it's at an angle in here, but it's on an angle on the bottom as well. So when I'm putting it, it's <laughs> like that. It looks pretty strange, but I would prefer just the top to be uh, with an angle and the bottom to be normal <laughs> it's a bit weird but but i do like the lip oil it's not very very lightweight but it's not very very hydrating so something in the middle it has this very tiny applicator and yeah i do really like it i'm very happy that i bought it and this is very very affordable so yeah this is great let's talk about some brushes because i didn't include them in the last video i have two brushes from beauty bay this one is the number this is the bb 205 and it looks something like this 
very good brush i do really like it you can blend shadows in the exterior in here and into the crease and the other one looks like this this one it's less fluffier but i'm using it in the outer corner as well and this one is called hey shorty <laughs> doesn't have a number or something like that but it's very very nice i do like both of them they are very good quality and they are very affordable brushes so I do recommend Beauty Babe brushes. And then I have two face brushes from Nabla. This one is the powder brush and this one is the highlighter brush. They are amazing. Very good brushes. Look at these handles. They are very interesting and they are very good brushes. Wonderful brushes. You can apply. As you can see, this has a point. So it's very easy to apply under the eyes or to blend i'm blending usually in here with this brush wonderful brush and this one for highlighter it's very very good at blending out highlighter you can create very easily a blinding highlight with this one or just tap out your brush and apply a small amount very good brushes i do really like them next let's talk about the super goop unseen sunscreen spf 30 i feel like 30 is the minimum amount of sunscreen this is a really nice one it has a gel texture and it's called unseen because it doesn't have any white cast i do really like it it's very good and can apply makeup on top of it pretty easily and i do really like it next we have a dry shampoo and this is the garnier fructis i don't really like this product i did film a first impression on my tiktok and i gave it like a seven out of 10 but after using it a lot more a lot more because i did use this product five times and i'm already here technically i'm almost done with the product but i did use it only five times or something like that maybe i'm applying too much product but i feel like it doesn't do too much so i don't recommend it even though it's drugstore don't waste your money just buy the batiste ones they have a lot of uh, options this is horrible i mean it doesn't do much for my greasy hair and yeah at least it smells nice <laughs> but that's about it it smells nice doesn't do a lot for my hair and like i said i did use it only five times and i'm almost done so don't recommend it Next we have this split liner from uh, Glisten Cosmetics and I have the shade Grapevine. It looks like this. Very nice colors, very easy to use and it has 18 months of shelf life which I feel like it's pretty good. Overall I do like this product but I think I prefer paints over water activated liners because I can use this as as a liner as well so yeah i think i prefer this one i don't think i can use this one as shadow because it is water activated so i don't know maybe i could uh, try that it would be interesting to see but the pen is so small so yeah i don't know i do like it as a split liner let's talk about it as a split liner because it is a split liner and for that it's really good i do recommend it then we have the abh nouveau palette and it looks something like this i am very 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 happy that i decided to buy this palette it's so beautiful i really like it i'm wearing two colors on my eyes today i have fleur and isle on top only those two and i have a lot of things on my eyes so uh, there's a reason i only use these two but this is an amazing palette i feel like this quality is top notch very good quality very pigmented very blendable and the shimmers are really beautiful i'm gonna swatch some of them they are very very stunning very pigmented and yeah i'm really happy with this palette very happy that i bought it i think it's a hit so if you like the color story you will not be disappointed then we have the danessa myrix 
infinite chrome flakes and I have the shade lighting bold and it looks something like this. With this product I am a bit disappointed because this is very expensive and the paint from um, About Face is expensive as well but at least this one works wonderful but this one I don't know I think it misses the mark I don't really uh, recommend it I'm wearing it today in here and for that particular uh, choice of application I feel like it's okay even though I did put like four layers to be this intense and if you do that you can feel it on your um, or your lids now it's pretty decent I can feel it maybe if I'm moving my like this if I'm moving my brows I could feel the product but it's pretty decent but in the process of drying you can feel the product on your lid and I don't really like it if you want to apply just a thin layer all over the lid maybe that could look decent but I am disappointed because if you want to put it all over the lid with multiple coats, this will look patchy. And when you apply another coat on top of other coat, it will remove the underneath layers. So I'm disappointed. I don't recommend this product. I don't really like it. I am very interested in trying other paints from uh, Danessa Mavericks and I'm gonna order some at some point, but this product I don't like and I'm not gonna recommend it. But let's end this video on a positive note and talk about the Sigma eyeshadow primer and I have the shade Ignite for this one. It looks like this and it's a twisty product and it's amazing. But I think this one is becoming my favorite eye base. I still like the Natasha Denona one, still wonderful, but this one is a bit more affordable and it's very easy to blend out. Shadows looks amazing on top. I'm really impressed with this product. It's a really, really good eyeshadow base, so I really recommend it. Okay, so this was everything. If you like it and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like, and I will see you next time.